Hey everybody, Alex Roy here with another weekly walkthrough for you. This week, very excited because this house is an old, huge, sprawling, almost 400 or 4,000 square foot historic home. Uh, it's raining outside, it's, as you can see, it's, you know, it's Portland, rainy weather, and it's such a big property, I'm going to give you a sense of the home by throwing up a few of the professional photos done by the listing agent, uh, Lisa Reed, courtesy to her, and thank you very much to her for letting us show this house this week. And so as you can see from this photo, it is a great big home. And now, let me take you inside. Like I mentioned, 4,000 uh, square feet, five bedrooms, two and a half baths. So much of this house is the original wood detail. First thing we do, we come into the formal dining room. Things I love about it, the beams, exposed beams on the ceilings, the wainscoting wood right here, and then over this way, in the built-in china cabinets, the leaded glass, leaded glass. What a great detail. And then the board up top for display. Great stuff. All right, this way, probably, well, I've got a few favorite rooms of the house. I want you guys to tell me what room is your favorite, what detail of the house you like. Um, love, once again, all the wood detailing, the batter's right there, and then the large open living room. Wood fireplace. More built-in book cabinets. Might be a little dark there. See built-in book cabinets. More detail. Every little bit of wood detail matters in these homes. That's just another added one to it. And then the beautiful sunroom that is facing west. And it, all these great original double hang windows in really great shape, and I know you just won't be able to see it from the video, but I can see through the trees, view of the downtown. We're just off of 41st Ave, we're sitting high up above, a half a block away from 39th, and we're on the lower end of 39th here, and so we can see the downtown from this view. Gorgeous. Let's continue on. Lots more house to show you. Okay, we came in here through this way, off of the dining room. Once again, facing towards the downtown, a little office area with its own wood fireplace, <coughs> built in bookshelves, and anytime I get to see some original old wallpaper, I love it. This is obviously not. The, uh, the 1903, 1904 wallpaper, certainly done earlier than that, or later than that, but love the old wallpaper. <coughs> Back into the dining room and off of it again. Everything, it's all points from the dining room. We have a north facing room, which I, I think is a great hobby crafts room. You've got a door to the outside and the other door is going to lead to the kitchen. Might be a good breakfast nook area. A lot of different things. What do you think you would do with this room? Let me know, what would you do with this room? All right, let's continue on this way to check out the kitchen. There's a door from the dining room into the kitchen with the original swinging door. I love that. Kitchen was obviously updated. Uh, your guess is as good as mine, I'm gonna say early 80s, maybe, maybe a, a mid 80s. That's my guess, I could certainly be wrong. But this is most definitely original. How often do you see this off of the kitchen in what would be not the formal dining area, but just a, a breakfast nook area, another wood fireplace. I love that, a wood fireplace off of the kitchen. That is, that is original turn of the century. Look right there, all right. Here we get into the main floor bedrooms. We're just gonna blast through them really quick. All these rooms, you're gonna see the original double hang windows. Uh, wood floor, or else hardwood floor, is on all of these floors. This one's been covered up by some loose carpet. 
a half bath on the main next to the bedrooms. Right next to that, full bathroom on the main. It's had some updating, but has the old clawfoot tub. And then one more full, full size room right off of our front door and the dining room when we came in. It's a good size room. I like this one. I love that original light fixture. That is really neat. That is really neat. And more wallpaper. All right, let's go upstairs. Fun. Look at the high ceiling as we come into this stairwell. Original banisters. Some great, great wallpaper up here. These upstairs rooms, you'll notice with my height, I'm, I'm a taller guy, you know, a six one, six. Uh, and uh, so it does look a little bit small with my size. The door frames are a little bit smaller, but really cute, really cozy, original plaster, still all plastered up top. Uh, some of it looks like it's been redone. That's a textured ceiling up there. <clears throat> Let's check out a few more of these rooms. Another small, it's a bedroom, small bedroom, but a bedroom, window seats, the original window seat, uh, built-ins there, built-in uh, dresser and closet to the right. And then through here, one final bedroom up here, the fifth bedroom of the five bedroom house, same thing, built-in dressers, the walk-in closet right there, what looks to be still the plastered ceiling. And this most certainly has a bit of a view to the downtown. Let's see if we can see that at all. And just through those trees over there. Always tough to get that on the video, but with the eyes you can definitely see it. So now one thing I really love about this house is it has all these extra rooms and I just don't know what the original intent was for the rooms. I want to know what you would do with it. But this one, I've got an idea. Check this out. So off of the hall, we come through here. Look at this. It's, it's not windows, just screen. They got panels that can go down. It's kind of like you're sitting in a covered porch upstairs. Maybe it's a smoking room, something like that. But what's right next to here is this side closet. It's a small room, it's a small closet, but when I come in, the immediate feel I get is dry sauna. And so you could have a great kind of outdoor upper seated patio area and have your dry sauna built in here. Oh, that's good luxury. I like that. All right, real quick, let's run downstairs to the basement. And here we are just off of the kitchen. We can come downstairs. And here's where a lot more potential for the house exists in that we've, we've got plenty of basement that we can work with uh, out that way, a separate access uh, to the outside storage area over here. But this way, we do have a bathroom finish right there. And though it does need some updating, separate living quarters have a little bit of a, a kitchen finished here and a... Uh, yeah, conforming bedroom off the side that has its own entrance. So you've got ADU and rental potential. All right, let me flash up a few uh, photos of this place so you can see what it looks when it's using a proper camera and not just these poor cameras. And I'll meet you back upstairs. Hey, so thanks for watching this weekly walkthrough video. Uh, for those of you that watch this know, I do one of these every week, trying to get interesting homes in there that you guys uh, will be interested to see in Portland. And if you like this video, click the like button, uh, like my Facebook page, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's the best way to see all the market news every month for Portland and check out these weekly walkthrough videos. I'm Alex Roy, working hard for your success.